your favorite YouTube channel. Where is Gucci Mane? And we're back for another video. So, guys, I do apologize for the delay. I went live on my Instagram and I told you guys I was going live on here. But my allergies were acting up. So I had to get that together. I didn't want to be all up in here, you know, sniffing, sniffing, sniffling, and sneezing on y'all time, you know? I hope you guys are having a positive day. Um,. I have some content for you guys today and I appreciate you guys I've been reading your comments and you guys are telling me keep going so I'm just keep uploading I appreciate you guys so much um, opening your minds um, seeing things that I'm seeing too because people will call you crazy if you do not go with the status quo so I want you guys to keep being independent thinkers that's what we need independent thinkers so shout out to you guys for being so great so if you see the title of this big meat son loves pizza so if you guys don't know who big meat is i'm going to read what wikipedia says about big meat okay because we were talking about his son, but again, I like to, I want to address the father too, because it's going to all play in. So, I'm on Wikipedia. I just wanted to show you guys that. Hey, good morning. <clears throat> BMF. According to Wikipedia. So, this is not according to me. According to Wikipedia, the B Black Family Mafia, BMF, was a drug trafficking and money laundering organization in the United States. It was found in 1985 by brothers Demetrius Big Meach Flannery and Terry Southwest T. Flannery. And by 2000, it established cocaine distribution sales throughout the United States throughout their Los Angeles based drug source and direct links to Mexican drug cartels. The Black Mafia family operated two main hubs, one in Atlanta run by Meach, Big Meach, and then the one in Los Angeles run by his brother. The Black Mafia BMF under Demetrius Flannery entered the hip hop music business as BMF Entertainment in the early 2000s as a front organization to launder money from cocaine sales and to legitimize itself. BMF Entertainment serves as a promoter for several high profile hip hop artists and as a record label for their soul artist Blue Da Vinci. Da Vinci. The name kind of sounds familiar, but I'm not familiar with Blue Da Vinci, but the name sounds familiar. BMF basically became popular in hip hop culture. In 2005, the DEA indicted members of BMF, ultimately securing convictions by targeting Flannery Brothers under the Continuing Criminal Enterprise Statute, and both were sentenced to 30 years imprisonment. Prosecutors alleged BMF made over $270 million in the course of their operations. I do want to go into a, about Big Meech's, um entertainment history. So this is just about BMF Entertainment. In the early 2000s, basically B Big Meech used BMF Entertainment as promotion for hip hop music. And they associated with high profile hip hop artists such as Diddy, Trina, T.I., Shawty Lowe, Jay-Z, and Fabulous. I'm kind of trying to skip to the part where it mentions Jeezy. Here we go. The organization's most visible appearance was in a full-length DVD that was produced by the Bar Report, which gave detailed insight. Look at their movement. The DVD was featured in Vibe's cover article on BMF in 2006. It received wide acclaim from DJs. Blah, 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 blah. Produce the song Streets on Lock, headed by BMF affiliate Blue Da Vinci Co. and featuring Fabulous and Young Jeezy. A music video was later produced with a single, blah, blah, blah. So basically, that's who Big Meech is. So now his son is being promoted. If you notice, pay attention to the who the blogs promote. Pay attention to who media and blogs promote. So his son is being heavily promoted. His son is actually playing him in the BMF series. A lot of people like it. It's popular. Don't get me wrong. I watched it. I was late to the game. I watched it. But I, I'm going to be honest with you. At this point, I feel like 
how many more drug dealer stories do we need to see? You know, like, at this point, I guess, as I get older, it's like, y'all done told the drug dealer story so many times. Like, I, I, I would love to see black people in a different light. Just like the slave story. How many times y'all gonna tell the slave story over and over and over again, you know? So, what was interesting is that Big Meech son had him some pizza. And so the first video, I'm going to see if Hidden in Plain Sight, follow them, you guys. They have great content. She has great content, Hidden in Plain Sight. So this was the first video. So you see Big Me, she has his pizza. But normal people would say, oh, he's just promoting a brand. It's just a brand deal. But people like us know what's going on. We're paying attention. So then he has his pizza. Then they have the pizza tattoos on him. I'm going to go back to my page because... I want to show you guys what you guys were saying in my comments. So then, here's the pizza tattoos all over him. So, I'm going to read to you guys what Pizzagate conspiracy is because some people may not know. So, this is just for the people that aren't aware. So, Pizzagate is a debunked conspiracy. This is according to Wikipedia. So, they're saying it's a conspiracy that went viral during the 2016 United States presidential election. I want to show you guys that I'm actually getting this directly from Wikipedia, too. Um, it has been extensively discredited by a wide range of organizations, including the Washington, D.C. police. So we're going to believe the police, right? Okay. Who's a legal gang? Who is involved with all of this? In March 2016, the personal email account of John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign chair was hacked in a spear phishing attack so they didn't say allegedly so this is proven that their emails were hacked even if they're going to dispute what was in the emails this proves that the emails were actually hacked right so it's like they're going to say well half of the story is true they were hacked but that's not what it said yeah okay wikileaks published his emails in november 2016 Proponents of the PCA conspiracy theory falsely claim the emails contain coded messages that connected several high-ranking Democratic Party officials and U.S. restaurants with the alleged human trafficking and child sex ring. One of the establishments allegedly involved was the Comet Ping Pong Pizza Ria in Washington, D.C. Members of the alt-right conservative journalists and others who had urged Clinton's prosecution over the email spread the conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theory on social media outlets such as 4chan, 8chan, and Twitter. I've never heard of those platforms. Um, in response, a man from North Carolina traveled to Comet Ping Pong to investigate the conspiracy and fired a rifle inside of the restaurant to break the lock on the door to a storage room during his search. The restaurant owner and staff also received death threats from the conspiracy theorists. See what they're trying to do? They're trying to make it seem like conspiracy theorists are threatening them when they really want the truth. Pizzagate is generally considered a predecessor to the, and I might say this wrong, Q9, K9 conspiracy theory. Pizzagate resurged in 2020, mainly due to Q9, while initially it was spread by only the far right. So then peep this last little part, how they gonna tie in Black Lives Matter. That's what threw me off. It has since been spread by teens on TikTok. See how they're trying to diminish it by saying only t only teenagers talk about this on social media. They're trying to diminish the same social media apps that they use to promote their puppets. How do you do that? Teens on TikTok who don't otherwise fit a right-wing conspiracy theorist mode. The biggest piece of gay spreader on TikTok appeared to be otherwise be mostly interested in topics of viral dance moves and black lives matter see how they what <laughs> Shut up, pay attention the conspiracy theory has developed and become less partisan and political in nature with less emphasis on clinton and more on the alleged worldwide elite of sex traffickers so i just wanted you guys to pay attention to that too but again we know what it means we know what this stands for but what also was interesting to me is you guys in the comments you guys said you guys felt like this is a 
female to male prepubescent transgender or transgender in the comments people were saying that because look at his chest somebody see little me just a girl um also somebody said look at the boobies little me just a chick So I'm just trying to get you to understand what's going on. I want y'all thoughts in the comments. What do you think? Because y'all brought that to my my eyes about him possibly being female to male. Because the chest, you know, are looking a little suspect. Let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comments. Do you think that Big Meech could possibly be more female? Do you think he's just promoting pizza and we should just ignore it? Either way it goes, it's a timestamp. Let me know what y'all think.